Hi everyone. Good evening. In this video, we can learn and discuss some important and experienced interview based question in RBA perspective. When we talk about process, so what is process? Or else, what about the process design document in RBA perspective? See when we talk about process, suppose you are your project, you are in project ABC. So in this project we may have multiple process For example, you are working for the client American So, this is the project. This is the American Express project. So, inside the project, you may have multiple process, which means process one is calculating the best calculating the banking interest This may be a process one. So process two may be to get complete user data. So this type of Suppose you have two process or three process. So every process is part of project. So a project has multiple process. Suppose in my experience, in a project we have up to ten to 15 process we can handle so every process has individual developer see every process has individual developers will work and complete the and complete the RPA development so how the process design doc will look like. So in process design document, what are the applications and 
interaction to the particular process what are the versions of the applications how process will look like rectangle as is means as is a how previous organization how previous system will it looks like to be how organization will change So these are the details will be available in process design. Okay, then we can move to our next question. What are all the documents have you prepared for your project? So it's really need to prepare all the documents for developer. No, the answer is no. The thing is. Solution design document will be prepared by technical architect or business architect or manager. TDD should be taken. TDD should be created by process analyst. What are the other documents? Object design document, process design document. So whatever it is, if it is in process, process analyst object, the object must be created by XR. How the object will look like? Like uh, what are the controls? How it will be looks like? Everything will be. So, no need to create any documents by developer. Developer has to consume, and developer has to work in RPA based on the documents which was provided by team. And one more thing. But clarification document or understanding document UD must to be created by developer created by developer in our world. So UD don't. Okay, we can move for next question. How your project flow looks like? Suppose you are working on your particular project. How the project flow will looks like? Suppose you are working on banking project. Of course, so in the process. 
process how you are working on it and the how the pro project flow looks like you can see how the flow looks like so process will start Login. Once the login screen is completed, your flow will go into the user details screen. After that. Once the user detail screen has completed, the flow will check. Then statement. So this is the example how your project flow or project process flow will looks like suppose it is in banking domain so once the login is completed so you have to provide login user id and credentials so once it is completed it will take to the home screen that is user detail screen and the home screen come so you have the you have the multiple options like uh, bank statement or uh, banking funds transfer transfer and after that it will move to next tree. once fund transfer is completed the transaction is completed or transaction is failure message will come or else notification notifications so so just the way our flow will continue this is the process flow looks like and it, it is not so for RPA it is it is a simple flow but it has to be with conditions if Fund transfer is completed, then notification. If any failures will happen, then then another notification will come. Completion, some notification will come. Bill will send by bot. If it is not completed, it is in exception stage. So bot will send some other notification to process one. So these type of things will include in process flow or project flow. So this is the way flow will continuously run up to the end. Okay guys, let's see. Let's see some more questions, more lines in our next video. Thank you guys, thanks for watching.